this is Greenland, covering an area of 2,166,086 square kilometers. It is the largest non-continental island on the planet, but with a population just short of 60,000 humans. The Inuits, accounting for 80% of the area's population, is in clear numerical majority, but nonetheless in minority when it comes to the control of their nation. Not only does the official control of Greenland by Denmark constrain the Inuit people from full self-governance, but the world's actions with regards to our planet's well-being and stability also contributes to the constraining of the Inuits. Anne Bitte Hove is an artist who has developed her style alongside the difficulties and pushes for change and self-governance in Greenland during the 1970s and 80s. Much of her work is political and shows the struggle for keeping Greenland's cultural heritage and for awareness of the persistent social problems in Greenland. She has been acclaimed as one of Greenland's most important visual artists and has used her talents to use her art as a way of raising resistance against the problems imposed on Greenland by the outer world, one of them being climate change. This oil chalk painting by Hove portrays the Greenlandic landscape with rugged mountains covered in white snow and ice, as well as lower, wider plains covered in ice most of the year. The painting, however, not only includes the traditional colors of the tundra, white, gray, and blue, but also warmer colors such as yellow, red, and green. This divergence from traditional portrayal and reality might symbolize change in climate Greenland is currently experiencing, with a plain covered in what could be dried grass, indicating in which case that the tundra might be changing in character. Further, the red colors coloring the mountains gives the impression of fire ranging up the mountains. Red and harsh chalk strokes populates the plain, seemingly without any pattern to its distribution. Compared to the smooth coverage of red in the mountains, these sporadic strokes stand in stark contrast to its background and leads one's thoughts to the spilling of blood. All in all, this piece conveys a rather violent sight in which the traditional landscape of the Greenlandic tundra is changing, and perhaps through the spilling of blood and violent sudden changes to a landscape as old as time. These changes in nature and climate have shortened the seasons and made it more difficult for the people of Greenland to live their traditional ways and secure food with the traditional methods of fishing and hunting and gathering. This oil painting, also by Hove, portrays three figures hunting with spears. The landscape is covered in bright colors and is seemingly set in an urban setting, as the three unnatural black squares to the upper left and the straight gray horizontal lines to the upper right seem off in a wild landscape. The prey seems to be laying in a stream of water. The neon blue short oil strokes, which resemble the light reflection of water caused by ripples on the surface, gives it away. The prey, speared by one of the th figures, is surrounded by blood, which seems to be spreading downstream. The two other figures seem eager to reach the scene, with their bodies in full sprint and hair pushed back in the headwind. The urban setting of the painting is a bit startling, since hunting traditionally occurred far outside the boundaries of settlements. This might represent the change which Inuits have had to adjust to, where hunting has to occur in different places than traditionally seen. The changes in climate has, as witnessed in Hoover's art, led to changes in lifestyle for the Inuits, threatening their way of life and leading to struggles for survival, not least seen in the countryside settlements, where people primarily survive on locally produced food, gathered through traditional methods. The success of these methods is being threatened, leading to parents struggling to put food on the table for their children. And as life becomes harder in the settlements, the culture on Greenland is threatened. <laughs>